Rohit Sharma shares an update about Hardik Pandya's bowling. What is that? Well, I'm going to be telling you. Uske baad, Gautam Gambhir feels that Ashwin might not play that match against Chennai Super Kings. Why does he feel so? To find out, stay tuned to today's video. Or sabse ant mein big setback coming for Pakistan ahead of the T20I World Cup. Sohei Maksud has been ruled out of the T20I World Cup, but Shoaib Malik will be stepping in in his place for the high-profile event. I'll give you all those details in today's edition of the News Tracker. Hello, everybody. I hope you're well and, of course, keeping safe. My name is Nivedna Prabhu. Welcome to News Tracker. This is the show where we keep you updated about everything happening in the world of cricket. But before I begin today's video, if you haven't liked, shared, and subscribed to Cricket Trackers yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. So go ahead and hit that button quickly. And without wasting any more time, let's begin today's video. Well, it was quite an interesting evening for Mumbai Indians last evening. On one hand, they did win the match, but on the other hand, of course, they did not qualify for the playoffs in the 14th edition of the Indian T20 League. But another thing that really came out from this entire 14th edition of the Indian T20 League for the Mumbai Indians is about Hardik Pandya's current form. Now, in that post-match conference, Rohit Sharma did talk about Hardik Pandya and he did say that, you know, Hardik is nowhere close to, you know, returning to bowling. He also said that the medical team is, you know, constantly keeping an eye out on him to kind of figure out, you know, when he'll be able to really return to that complete form. Now, this, of course, would be worrying with the T20 World Cup around the corner. How does that look like? What is going to happen? Well, let me tell you what Rohit said. Now, Rohit said, in terms of his bowling, he, that is Hardik, hasn't bowled yet. So, the physios, the trainers, the medical team is working on his bowling. As of now, all I know is he hasn't bowled a single ball yet, but we wanted to take one game at a time and see where he stands. So in the next week or so, he might be able to bowl. Only the doctors or the physios will be able to give an update on that. Now, you guys tell me on one hand, of course, it's injury concerns, which is why, you know, this has really hampered um, you know, his bowling prospects. But you tell me in the comment section below, what kind of a setback is it for Team India in terms of, you know, um, because of the fact that Hardik has been picked as an all-rounder for the high-profile event. So what do you think should be happening? Do you think, you know, Team India should still be taking that chance going ahead with, uh, you know, Hardik Pandya in that playing 11? Do you see a spot for him? Give me all your thoughts and analysis in the comments below. Gautam Gambhir feels that Ravi Chandran Ashwin might not play the next match against Chennai Super Kings. Now, on one hand, of course, the DC and RC RCB clash was super exciting when it went down to that very last ball and RCB of course managed to you know win that one but on the other hand Gautam Gambhir is talking about the fact that um, you know in that particular match of course Ashwin just got that single over quota and he had another couple of points to make as to why he feels Ashwin will not probably play the match against Chennai. Now what did he say? Well let's find out. Now, Gautam said, I'm sure they must be considering whether to play Ashwin and Sharjah or probably go with an overseas batter and have Ripple Patel as a bowling all-rounder or get Stoinis if he's available. Because if anything, they were convinced with Ashwin, this was the game to give him four overs, irrespective of what the result of the game was. So, I'm not sure whether he's going to play the next game or not. He's still a quality bowler. Now, how do you all look at this? Do you think that there is a space, like how Gambhir has said, maybe Marcus Stoinis will be coming in? Um, you know, of course, if he's available, how do you all view this? Do you think Ashwin still has a spot for tomorrow's game against Chennai. Give me all your thoughts and analysis in the comments below. In what comes as a major setback for Team Pakistan right ahead of the high-profile T20I World Cup is the fact that Sohe Maksud has been ruled out of this particular event because of a back injury. Now, Pakistan has decided to rope in Shoaib Malik as his replacement. Now, Pakistan's chief selector also spoke about, uh, you know, this decision. What did he say? Let's find out. Now, Pakistan chief selector Mohammad Wasim said, Soheb is devastated to miss out on the ICC Men's T20 World Cup as he had worked hard for this event and was in sparkling form. We feel for him, but injuries are part and parcel of the sport. In his place and following discussions with the team management, we have decided to include Shoaib Malik in the side. I'm sure Shoaib's experience will be handy for the entire squad. Now, how do you all look at this? Of course, it's unfortunate that Maksud had to really, you know, skip this event because of that back injury. But do you think Malik will be making a big difference for Team Pakistan? for this particular high-profile event. Give me your thoughts in the comments below. Well, with that, it's a wrap on this edition of the News Tracker. If you like the video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Follow all our social media channels, including our Telegram channel, because Mahape, you'll find some amazing match-winning combos as well as fantasy tips for your fantasy teams. You wouldn't want to miss out. Trust me on this one. My name is Nivedna Prabhu. I'll be seeing you very soon, but do not forget to hit that subscribe button to see all the latest content in the world of cricket that we bring for you. And until I see you next time, take care of yourselves and stay safe. Bye-bye.